Pierre Pouvet de Chavannes was a French artist prominent at the end of the 19th century. He was known both for his paintings and his large-scale murals. Many of these still adorn major public buildings in France, including the Pantheon, the Sorbonne, and the Hôtel de Ville. Dupé, or Pleasant Land, was painted around 1880 to 82. It exemplifies the artist's allegorical style, which is infused with a sense of harmony and allusions to a timeless Arcadian world. The painting depicts a group of women and children who've been gathering fruit near the sea. Their poses allude to Italian frescoes and classical sculpture, as do their robes in blue, white and orange, which contrast with a subdued landscape. Two young boys wrestle playfully in the foreground, while another seated child looks back at them. In the distance, we can see a sail and two fishermen working on a nearby island. Shapes and forms in this painting are very simplified and the composition is painted in broad zones of colour. The horizons etched in shades of blue and lilac, while the foreground shows the dusty browns and greens that we'd often associate with landscapes of Greece or Italy. As his friend Auguste Rosanne was described, Pivi's paintings are imbued with a sweet serenity, showing how sacred nature nurtures a loving, wise, dignified and pure humanity. In fact, Privy had been deeply affected by the horrors he witnessed during the Franco-Prussian War of 1870-71, and these ideal landscapes reflect his desire for an unsullied world. While he can't be easily categorised into a single artistic movement, he greatly influenced artists from Gauguin to Picasso and Matisse. His classical themes invoke a timeless pre-industrial past, yet he's now regarded as a pivotal figure on the threshold of modernism. His use of colour, volume and space heralds modernist techniques and eventually a move towards abstraction.